Being one of the most popular video streaming services available, tons of people love watching movies and shows on Netflix. Want to make your Netflix experience even better? This video is for you. I'm Jessica from techboomers.com. In this video, I'll be showing you 18 of our best tips and tricks to find better things to watch, save money, and more. Now let's get started. Let's begin with some tips to finding new and better things to watch on Netflix. If you have no idea what you want to watch, try out Netflix Roulette for random suggestions of movies and shows. Go to netflixroulette.net. Choose the category of content you'd like to find. Then click Spin to get suggestions. You can click Spin again to discover more shows and movies. A great site for finding Netflix recommendations is Rotten Tomatoes. At RottenTomatoes.com slash source 1031, you'll find reviews of movies and TV shows that are all available for streaming on Netflix. The list of shows and movies is over 20 pages long, so you'll find tons of things with great reviews you can add to your watch list. A few other sites where you can find recommendations of things to watch on Netflix are What's New on Netflix.com, the Best of Netflix Reddit page, and IMDb's Top 250 list. Links for these pages will be listed in the description box below. Use a browser extension to get more information about shows and movies on Netflix. One great one we'd recommend is called N Enhancer. Install this extension to your Google Chrome web browser to see ratings from IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes, watch trailers, and more. This extension can be used with Chrome on both Mac and PC computers. A link to download the extension will be listed in the description box below. Use multiple Netflix profiles. If you share your account with other people, like your family members or friends, you can create separate profiles on one Netflix account without having to pay more for your subscription. This keeps recommendations, viewing history, and watch lists separate for each person that uses the account. Sharing a Netflix account is also a great way to save money by splitting the cost. To create another profile on your Netflix account, go to netflix.com and sign in. Hover over your name, then click Manage Profiles. Click Add Profile to make a new one. Add a name and indicate if the profile is for a child. Then click Continue. When you're finished creating profiles, click Done. Now, when you log into your Netflix account, you'll be asked to choose which profile you want to use. Once you've created separate profiles for your family members, you may want to reset your preference settings to get rid of suggestions you're getting based on things other people have watched. To do this, hover over your name, then click Account. Select Viewing Activity. Click the X button beside any items you'd like to remove from your Netflix watch history. To remove things that have been rated on your account, click Rating. Then click the X beside any ratings you want to remove. Our next tips will help you save time and money while watching Netflix. The first tip we have is to make the most of the Netflix free trial. When you sign up for a new Netflix account, you can get one month of Netflix service for free. If you don't want to be charged for the service after the free month, Simply cancel your subscription within the free trial period. To get a discount on the cost of your Netflix membership, you can buy discounted Netflix gift cards and use them to pay for your subscription. You can find these gift cards at stores like Amazon, Best Buy, and Walmart. If you find you're not using Netflix very much, you can pause your membership. A great thing about Netflix is that you can cancel your membership at any time because there are no contracts. When you cancel your Netflix subscription, you can still stream shows and movies until the next time you would have been charged. You can sign up for a new account if you decide you want Netflix again. 
This is like putting your Netflix membership on pause. To save money on your mobile data bill and save time when loading videos you want to watch, you can reduce video streaming quality. Go to your account settings, then click Playback Settings. Finally, select the quality you'd like to use. Low, Medium, High, or Auto. When you're done, click Save. The lowest settings will use less data and load the videos faster. Another way to save data when watching Netflix on the go is to download shows and movies when you're connected to Wi-Fi so you can watch them offline later. You can do this easily on the Netflix app. Open the menu on the left, then tap Available for Download. Select a show or movie you'd like to save for later. Then tap the Download icon next to any episode you want to download. When it's finished downloading, you can go to My Downloads to access the content you've saved to watch offline. We have four more Netflix tricks to tell you about. You can easily control Netflix playback with these easy keyboard shortcuts. We'll list them in the description box as well, so you can take note of them. Change your subtitle settings so they're better suited for you. When you're watching something on Netflix, click the dialog button to access subtitle settings. You can turn subtitles on or off, or change the language of the subtitles. To change the size and color of your subtitles, go to netflix.com slash subtitle preferences. If you want to watch Netflix with one of your friends or family members, but they can't be with you in person, you can still watch a show or movie together using Rabbit. Go to rabb.it to host your own watch party. You can also join or host public streams to watch and discuss movies and TV shows with other people. This last tip is a little out there. But if you find you often fall asleep with Netflix still on, you can create this do-it-yourself project for Netflix socks. These super cool smart socks can tell when you've fallen asleep, and pause Netflix automatically. Find the instructions for this and other cool projects at makeit.netflix.com. Those are all the Netflix tips and tricks we have for you. Head over to our Netflix course for more tutorials on using Netflix. Thanks for watching! If you found this video helpful, we'd love it if you'd hit the thumbs up button below. Check out techboomers.com for over 100 free courses on all of today's most popular websites and apps.